I'm Ruby. And I'm Haley. And, and we, we are your anchors, anchors for, for this week's broadcast. Speaking of winter, what sports are coming up? Basketball. I don't know a lot about basketball. Me either. I heard Evan and Dylan know a lot about it. Dylan and Evan, and we're going to interview people about the basketball this year, we ask for a donation for every three-point shot that we make or every defensive charge that we take. You will pledge a certain dollar amount, and the proceeds will go to Children's Mercy. Well, every three-point we make and every charge we take, you can donate or pledge five dollars to the team, and that goes to Children's Mercy. How long has the fundraiser been going on for? Uh, this is the first year. Make sure to come out and support the basketball team this season and make sure you pledge $5 to support the basketball team and Children's Mercy this season. Thank you. We're going to learn more about the basketball celebrations. It's Dylan and Evan signing sign off for the DMS broadcast. All of this winter is making me think about Christmas. I love Christmas. Do you have your Christmas tree up yet? No, I think I may need some decorating tips. Lily and Addie are really good at decorating for Christmas, so we should get some advice from them. Hey, Scott! It's Lily! And Addie! Hey, Addie, are you excited for Christmas? Yeah! Well, I haven't even started decorating. Me neither. Let's go decorate for Christmas and make a Christmas box. First, we went to Target to get everything we needed for the Christmas box. These are the items we used in our box. Once we had the supplies to make our box, we assembled it. This was our finished product. Also, here's our Christmas cat. If you don't want to make a Christmas box, here are a few ideas how to decorate your house. So you're going to want to get a stocking, um, glitter glue, sequins, and lights. And that I'm going to spread around it some green glitter glue on the tip. Because I thought it looked cool. I guess. And then I put an outline around it and I put DMS rocks and hashtag cause kindness for some DMS spirit. And I blow dried it to speed up the process. And I put lights on that it. That looks really good. Look at And then this is the finished look. It's great. I hope you enjoyed watching me decorate. 
See you around, DMS. Now that it's December, I'm really in the mood for some Christmas cookies. Me too. Too bad I don't know how to make them. Chef Avery and Chef Brody are really good at baking Christmas cookies. We should hand it over to them. Hey, DMS. It's Avery and Brody. And today we will be baking and decorating holiday cookies. So let's go get our ingredients. You'll need one package of pre-made sugar cookie dough, then red, green, as well as white icing. We're using royal icing. Then pick up whatever sprinkles you want. We got red, green, and white. We got the ingredients. So let's go back to my house to make them. Preheat your oven to whatever your package says. After that, let your cookie dough soften for a little while so you can knead the dough. Once you're finished with that, put some flour so your rolling pin doesn't stick. Then you can roll out your cookie dough. Once you've rolled it into an even layer, you can cut out your shapes. Put your cookies on the pan with some spray so they don't stick, and then you can put them into the oven. After that, set your timer for whatever your cookie package says, and let them bake. For this cookie, we will be making an ornament. So to start out, we are using our red royal icing cover and covering the cookie in it. Next, use a toothpick to spread out the icing and make it even. Next, we are adding white to the top and blending it in with the red. Now, take white sprinkles and spread them over the top. Finally, we added these little candy canes for decoration. For this cookie, we will be making a Christmas night. So first, we started out by icing the cookie with green royal icing. Then we used white icing to make the bulb and blended it in with the green. Now we used three large candies for decoration. And finally, we sprinkled gold glitter on it. Here is the finished product. Next, we are making a star. So we started out by putting white icing on and covering it in silver sprinkles. Next, we took these little white and blue snowflake candies and put them in the middle. And here is the finished product. Now, let's go have some students try them. It's good. It's really good. It's good. Really good. Well, that's the end of our segment. This has been Avery. And Brody. Signing, signing off, off for the DMS broadcast. broadcast. Bye, Bye, DMS. Hey, Haley, what class are you taking next semester? I'm planning on taking art next semester. What about you, Ruby? I'm taking industrial tech with Mr. Madsen. Did you know that Mr. Madsen used to be in rodeos? Yeah, I did hear that. And now one of our students does rodeos too. Let's go talk to her about it then. Hey DMS, did you know that one of our very own students is a rodeo star? Wow, that's crazy. I know, I wonder how they got into it. Well, why don't you go ask them? Hi, I'm here with Ava, and we're going to be interviewing her about the rodeo. So, how old were you when you started competing in the rodeo? 
Um, it's my first time. I'm 13. That's so cool. Alright, what events do you like to compete in most? Um, I do a little bit of barrel racing. I do patterns and I do trotting and walking. That's really cool. Alright, what was the name of the rodeo that you competed in? It was American Royal. Wow, that's impressive. Alright, what place did you take in your events? I took four. That's so great. I shot. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, she did such a great job. I know, right? Well, that's the end of our segment. Bye, Bye DMS. DMS. Hey Haley, did you know what a voice tutorial is? No, what about you? I'm not sure, but I heard Ethan knows a lot about it. Hey DMS, it's Ethan. You want to talk like this? Well, I'll show you how. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to self-service. And then you're going to need to search and type Audacity and install this. This is the software we're going to use. So once you have that installed, open Audacity. And then a short tutorial will pop up at the beginning. And you can just click OK. So your button's up here, record. Hello, DMS. And this is your recording. When you click and highlight, you can delete parts of your recording from any part. And you can also click and highlight a certain part. So up here, this microphone can make your audio softer or louder. Up here, this can slow your voice down or it can speed the video up and speed your voice. So up here is all the ways to edit your audio clip. So what you're going to do is you're going to highlight the audio. You're going to go to Effect and there's all these settings that allow you to change your voice in all kinds of way. There's bass and treble, which changes how deep your voice can go, and the treble. And then there's change pitch, which can make your voice higher or lower, and you can change what key your it changes to. So if I make it really low. Hello, DMS. And then... You can click back up here to reset it and then change pitch. And then I can also make it higher. Hello, DMS. Because I'm Batman. So that's pretty fun. And then you can change the speed and you can make it go slower or faster up here. It's the same thing this can do. Then you can fade in, you can fade out. There's a leveler for the audio levels. You can make multiple tracks of audio overlaying and playing at the same time. There's phasers and all kinds of amplifiers and everything. So now since the Rise of Skywalker is about to come out in a few weeks, I'll show you how to do a Kylo Ren voice tutorial. So what you need to do is you're going to make your recording. Bring me the map of Skywalker. And then you're going to edit out your clicking of your mouse and make the clip shorter. And you're going to highlight your piece. And you go to effect and then change pitch. I'm going to make it lower. Bring me the map of Skywalker. So that sounds about good. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to echo and then you're going to set it to 0 0.005 and then 0.2. Me the map of Skywalker. So we're almost done. Now what you need to do is you need to go to reverb. Then you're going to set your settings to 10, 10, 10, 50, 100, 100, negative 1, negative 1, and 100. Your room size needs to be 10. That's the most important thing. So then the audio is edited. And then you're going to go to leveler. And you're going to set it to heaviest. And then negative 35 decibels. And then it should, the final clip should sound like this. Bring me the map of Skywalker. So I hope you learned about Audacity and are able to use it to your liking in the future. This is Ethan, signing out. Too bad the semester's almost over. 
Yeah, we'll see you guys in the halls, though. I'm Haley. And I'm Ruby. Signing off for the DMS broadcast. My favorite part about Christmas is because I like presents, and I'm a rebellious child. So, yeah. My favorite part about Christmas is our family feast for dinner. What? Okay, so my favorite part about Christmas is like having like my family there and like have like open presents and seeing my like relatives. My favorite part about Christmas is the presents. Yeah. My favorite part about Christmas is watching my four-year-old have so much fun and open her presents. My favorite thing during Christmas time is having presents and being able to spend time with my family. My favorite part about Christmas is when my grandma makes us sing happy birthday to Jesus. <laughs> the thing I like most about Christmas is spending time with my family and friends and just having fun for the holidays. My favorite thing about Christmas is Jesus. My favorite thing about Christmas is spending time with family.